Okay, so quick summary. I was in prison for four years for eating too much gum. The judge said they'd never seen that much gum get eaten by one person, and it was unfair to society. So they put me in jail for four years where I had to stay, um, and I wasn't allowed to have any gum. But now that I'm out, I can have all the gum I want. So I've been chewing gum nonstop, and now I have a very muscular jaw. Anyway, this is Scott. This is Let's Play a Stupid Ren Pie Game. Um, hopefully <laughs> this works. Uh, I've disabled the system sound, so uh, I may as well just turn all this off. Well, I'll leave a little bit of music on for myself. This is just for me. So if you want to hear the music for this game, which is called uh, Contract Demon, um, I'll put a link in the description so you can go buy this game. I definitely paid for it. I, <laughs> uh, I mean, I might. <clears throat> I, I, you know, you, you got you to gotta test these things out. You might hear the creaking of my chair. That is my chair. Uh, I am full of gum, so I have to move around a lot. Anyway, um, sorry for the absence. Jail, gum. Uh, I tried to find some of the other games I was playing before, but as it turns out, uh, when you don't play them for four years, they either the download links disappear or they don't work on your computer. And uh, despite being a, compu a computer man of sorts, I'm not interested in spending any... Yeah, let's just play this stupid game. Here we go. You remember how this works if you are still at this channel after four years. I mean, a lot of you have probably grown up. Oh my god, the sound from this game. Ugh, okay, you're lucky you can't hear it. Let me just... No thank you. No thank you. <laughs> that was just... The beginning of this game, Contract Demon, they seem to think that I would I would enjoy having my ears blasted uh, with flute or some other wind instrument. I, I don't know which, but I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't as much fun as they may have expected. Um, now, the, the problem uh, that I have again, that I've had for many of these games, I played, I don't know, 40 of them? I forget. Uh, I don't know who's speaking, so I don't know how to do a voice. So for the time being, let's all just play along. May my melody reach the deepest pits of the netherworld. By which, of course, they meant my ears. Um, next. Camilla, if you're listening, I invite you to this world. Well, that's very nice. Let's form a contract. Less nice. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so, I, presumably, Camilla is the, uh, the, the, the titular contract demon. So we will give them a demon voice, which is easy. So you've called upon me again, Eleni. Tremble in fear, pathetic fool, for I, from the very depths of oblivion, have brought the book you asked for. This is, uh... Okay. Uh. Yeah, show me, show me. <laughs> Here, a comprehensive guide to capturing princesses. Not sure why you'd want a guidebook aimed at overlord-level demons, but... Uh... Of course I'd want it. It's important to learn what kinds of knowledge they want to pass down to future generations. I only have, like, three voices. Well, actually, I have, like, six, but... You know, I'll have to do a couple. I have to remember what they are, which is hard. You're not secretly vying to become an overlord, then? Hehe, <laughs> I wonder. You don't wonder shit. You have hearts for pupils. You can't see. By the way, do you really have to wear those robes every time you summon me? Yes, it's part of the ritual. This is the third time we've done this. I have to be dressed for the ritual, Camilla. And is this daily ritual really necessary to our original contract? I hope we get to read the terms of the contract. If I don't set the mood, it won't be as fun. It gives you an excuse to make a fun demonic entrance, too. You get to put on your vest and your little tie, basically look like Tucker Carlson. Any entrance I make is demonic. For I am a fearsome demon, a creature born from the nightmares of pathetic humans. Is that really how demons are born? You think I could dream a demon into existence, too? I'm glad you can't do that. <laughs> no, that's not really... Hey, look, it's my mouse. But I dream about demons all the time. What am I doing wrong? Is it because I'm an angel? Whoa, slow down. I didn't write. I didn't read the description of this game at all. An angel who summons a demon? What is happening? Where's Dan Brown? You like that <laughs> angels and demons reference I made? It's very modern. I have been in prison for four years. You know, I don't remember. Wait, wait hold on a second. Let me just look this up here. Um, okay, it's angels and demons. You can listen to me Google. I guess I could do it on screen, but that's hard. No, it's not actually. Two, from 2009 is when the movie came out, so... When the book come out? Anyway. <laughs> no, I just meant that we're supposed to be like a human's worst fear. I, I don't know. Huh? Then how are demons born? Just... Never mind. Why are we talking about this? 
You're the one who brought it up. Here, let me get the lights. Yeah, we're gonna... That's much better. Then don't bother with that atmosphere in the first place. Is it okay if I come up with a new task for you so I can get to reading this new book? Huh? Y yeah, I, I mean... Don't casually believe I'll obey your whims. Think seriously as to what you'll offer your soul. Your next wish may be your last. Oh, is there a three-wish limit like a genie? That was supposed to be like a, a threat on your life. Let's do a one contract per day minimum. That's my new contract with you. Refused. Why? Well, I, I thought that would be a good one. <laughs> Getting substantially more drunk sounding as I go. I can't let myself be monopolized by one client. I'm just starting out. I need a wider range of experience. So I can't play with you every day? Absolutely not, fool. You think a demon summoning is a game? These contracts have grave consequences for your soul. Oh, I don't care about that. Whatever the price you talk to a demon, I'll pay it. S seriously If asking you to come back every day is too much, then my new contract is free to hang out with me for the next 24 hours. Read you about to read that book I brought you. I can find something to entertain you in the meantime. What's important is that we're here together. What is the nature of this relationship? You summon a friend. I mean, this would be handy right now during the whole, you know, huh? The whole 2020 to 2021 thing. Plus, this is basically an addendum to our original contract. That's, you can't just, okay. Friends should spend time together. Aren't we friends, Camilla? Due to that contract, yes. Ongoing interaction would be required, I think. I just didn't realize ongoing meant daily. You're agreeing to this one, all right? I have no objections. It's a fair contract. Just change it however you like at whatever point you want. That's definitely the way contracts work. Spend the next 24 hours hanging out with you, and then you give me a break for a few days, all right? Okay. Uh, less than three. I know it's a heart. Leave me, leave me alone. Good. Then it's decided. I, I, I mean, the contract is sealed. <laughs> that was a shitty Yule laugh. I'm sorry. I did just. Who's Olog? Oh wait. I guess this is a. Oh, it's a. Is it a log? I don't know. New contract has a time obligation. Be back tomorrow. Oh, Olog is a text contact. I see. Okay. No lasagna for you tonight. I'll have... No, oh, wait. <clears throat> I'll have leftovers. Not if I eat it all. Come on, a whole lasagna, dude. Now it's her brother, I see. Brother. You are truly a demon among demons. If only I could learn from your evil ways. Such praise. I'll leave you my scraps out of mercy. Wow, I'm grateful. <laughs> <laughs> what? He 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 he. Are you done reading yet? I'm bored. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take a break. This book is really funny. I'm sure the author would be disappointed to hear that, considering it's a technical manual. Did you finish reading that comic? Huh? Yeah, like an hour ago. What do you think? Is it a demon more accurate? It's all in line with my vision of the netherworld, so I have to know. <laughs> this is kind of eerily silent. What's this candle? Oh, it's just on the ground. <laughs> I don't play games. Uh, I thought that was part of the interface for some reason. Excuse me. Aren't you the least bit embarrassed to say a comic called Succubus Sex Party is your vision of the netherworld? It's my ideal. Was it too good to be true? Yeah. yeah. Also, you're pretty brave to hand over your porn to someone you barely know. Is this going to be one of those games? Have I... <laughs> Am I going to need to put up a bunch of, like, black boxes and things? How do I... How do I censor? I guess I could do it after the fact. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. That one's pretty tame. Besides, you read all the way through, so it must have been fine. I didn't have anything else to do. Do you like succubus ladies, too, Camilla? We're not talking about this. <laughs> okay, sorry. Then what do you want to do next? I don't know. You're the host here. Friend stuff. Demon friend stuff. What do demon friends normally do? Demon friends, hmm? <laughs> Demons despise the very idea of petty friendships. What a waste of time. 
So there's no Demon Fred stuff to do. Of course not, you fool. Then let's play Capture the Princess. You be the Overlord and I'll be the Princess. Can we have a scene change, please? I guess we did with a text message. Oh, yeah. Also, I need to, just need to save game. There we go. This time, now, if something bad happened, I can start from here. Huh? Is is that a real thing? I just made it up. Try to capture me. There she goes. Isn't this just tag? Yep, there she goes again. Demons play tag, too? <laughs> Very well. I shall engage in this game of tag. There they go. Yeah. Evil overlord is after me. <laughs> there she goes again. I'll capture and imprison you like a true overlord would do. There she goes. Ah, you got her. <laughs> well, I'm quartered. I have you now, princess. Oh no, what are you going to do to me? This is going to get weird for me real fast. I mean, it kind of already is, considering I'm voicing people's Renpy games. I've talked about this in the past. If you go back and watch the videos from, <laughs> from 2014 or whatever it is. Um, I'm fine, by the way. How are you guys? Answer in the comments. That's the only place you can answer that I'll see it. I mean, you could yell it out loud while you're watching the video, but I won't hear. And if someone else does, uh, they won't be too impressed. So keep it down. Uh, did I already read that? Who cares? Ah, uh, imprison you, right? What about after that? Wait for a hero to come challenge me, and then slay him remorselessly. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll fight to protect me, Miss Overlord. Hold on, our princess is supposed to talk to like their captives. This one does. Yeah, let's let's have a game about imaginary Stockholm syndrome. Isn't that kind of uh, wait, <clears throat> isn't that kind of messed up? We're just playing, but if you don't like it, I guess we can do something else. Are you hungry? Oh, what do humans eat? Meat, right? Is it meat? Do you eat meat? Is it meat? It's mostly meat. Is it meat? Stop right there. Do not try to serve me something weird like human flesh, okay? Wow, does the angel serve human flesh? Mind reader, we're really on the same wavelength now. <laughs> You're a dangerous angel. So what should I cook? Or maybe food made by an angel would poison you? I didn't consider that and kill you. Kill you right dead. You're demons. You're probably dead already. But they don't keep making food and you probably barf all over the place. Diarrhea or something. I don't know. It'd only become poison if you put something weird in it. Maybe I'd be better off eating out. No, no, no. You can't go outside. Everyone would freak out. Really? They don't freak out with you already? With your wings? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, right. Angels. Oh, are we in, like, Angel Town? All right, so uh, I never read the description of the game, like I said earlier, so maybe uh, an angel summons a demon. That's the plot. We might be able to disguise you if not for your big, long horns. Oh, maybe you could put stockings over them to look like a bunny. Pass. Just or order, order pizza or something. Pizza. Demon pizza. They're not going to deliver from the netherworld. Just order your regular angel pizza. <laughs> okay, I'll order pizza. Oh boy, can't wait to see this pizza. I got pizza for dinner. That's very lasagna adjacent. Will you still want leftovers? Please. What's that? Huh? My phone. A demon phone. This is my first time seeing one in real life. Do angels not have smartphones? Nope, but I've read a little about, about them. A little bit about them. I read about it on a tablet. <laughs> I don't know how this works. What is the level of technology? What role does human society play in this, if any? Can there be angels and demons without people? Should there be? Do the demons torture the angels? Do the angels try to save the demons? Why do they have a contract? What's happening? Where am I? What is the purpose of all of this? What, why are we doing any of it? Okay. Smartphones were invented by the great demon Candata, <laughs> who wanted personal handheld access to the netherweb. Thanks for answering my questions. And then his idea was stolen and mass-produced. So now demons can be connected all the time. It's so incredible. Angels don't have things like that. Why not? Yeah, that sounds inconvenient. It does. Not really. Our lifestyles don't really call for it. Plus, they're illegal. Illegal? Were you texting someone? My brother? You have a brother? <laughs> well, yeah, yes. He's also my supervisor. A brother and a supervisor. Is he strict? Does he look like you? Is he even taller? Sometimes, uh, somewhat similar, and yeah, he's taller than me. 
That's so tall. Are all demons really tall? I wonder where the average height is for demons. Do, do you have any family, Eleni? Nah, who needs them? It's just me. Huh. You can access the netherweb through your phone, right? Even though you're not in the netherworld? Oh, uh, I have reception through the summoning circle, yes. Wow. Wow. If you want to borrow it, we're going to need to do a new contract. No, no, it's too much power. I'm not ready for the netherweb yet. No one's ready for the netherweb. I just realized I have no idea how long I've been recording this. Or if I am recording it. 15 minutes? Oh, Jesus, all right. I'm going to try to make these videos between, like, I don't know, 12 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. You know, something you can put on in the background while you're doing stuff, but I don't want to give you, like, a TV show exactly. Or I can't. I don't know. Fucking, who cares? Sure. But if you wanted to, we could, um, watch a movie. A demon movie? Yes. A demon movie. Can we? Can we, please? Hmm, but are you prepared? Your eyes could melt out of your skull from the brilliant darkness of demonic horror cinema. Melt my eyes, please, Camilla! <laughs> That's a please kill me. <laughs> please, Camilla! Very well. Turn down the lights and brace um, your very soul! Great. you are watching on a phone. Yeah. Seems about right. Mm-hmm. Now she's just on her phone. This job is cool. I just got to watch Train to Abaddon and take a long nap. Hey, go. Reminder to not date your clients, Camilla. It's not a date. LOL. Can't two people watch a movie without it being a date? What is your problem? Wait, were you joking? Now I'm embarrassed. We should talk when you get back. Okay, but just to be clear, I'm not dating my client. Not yet, but I assume that's the nature of this game. We'll find out someday. <clears throat> oh, you're already up. <laughs> I slept for so long. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I must have been worn out from how exciting yesterday was. Do you need a shower or anything? No, I am a demon. <laughs> oh, do demons bathe? Yes, demons bathe. In the blood of you, right now. Kill her, kill her. <laughs> sorry, just asking. No, um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snap or anything, but... Everything's very pink. You just ask a lot of questions like that. It's okay, you're right, I have been asking too many questions. Can we watch more demon movies? Oh, that's another question. Yeah, there's time for one more until my 24 hours are up. Now you'll really have to go. That was the contract. Now let's do another contract once the time is up. I've already explained this to you. You get one per summon. I can't go against regulations or I could lose my job. Oh. Yeah. And don't forget our contract this time states you must refrain from summoning for the next three days. So even if you try, it won't work. Yeah, I know. Uh, are you okay? No, I'm fine. Just feeling really tired for some reason. <laughs> I think I just need to eat something. Right. Um... Get some food and I'll pick out a movie. Want to see more demon zombies? I want to see more demon zombies. Put them on the screen. Show, don't tell. Come on, games. Oh, Camilla, you really know the way to my heart. Tildy. All right. And so their contract ends. This is the guy I've been doing the welcome back. Doesn't really... It's more like, welcome back. <laughs> hey. Is now a good time? Did you prepare a lecture? You totally have the wrong idea, you know. <laughs> Please, just listen, Camilla. I'm going to keep it, because I was doing it already. Summoners are our clients. Nothing more, nothing less. We fulfill requests, and they repay us with bits of their soul. And then one day, when they die, the netherworld claims the rest, and they're reborn as a demon. I know how it works. Then you know that our job is important. We can't advertise our services. We can only wait for souls from other worlds to call upon us. We depend on our limited clientele to rely on us. In a professional manner, the more contracts they make, the sooner the netherworld can claim their soul. It's a sustainable economy. Which is why dating a summoner becomes problematic. Do you understand? I'm not dating her, Odog. What kind of demon goes on dates anyway? I don't have a romantic bone in my body, so there's no problem. 
Friendships are off limits too. My point stands. Camilla, you cannot be friends with someone you are literally draining the life from. Sure you can. That's the way almost all relationships work. Yeah, tell that to her. Hmm. It's not a problem. She's contractually obligated to not summon me for three whole days. So 24 hours together, then three days apart. I would love to read over your contracts with that witch. She says she's an angel. Background check. Says she's a witch. Why would an angel summon a demon? Dunno. Are angels even real? I don't know anything about this world anymore. Everything I thought I knew was a lie. To whom can I place my trust? In whom? They must be, right? In some world cut off from our own. Hmm. Yes, the theological implications of demons with no angels is truly startling. Two weeks later. Are you sure there haven't been any summon attempts in the past week? Just like I said yesterday, your witch must be busy with something. This is weird. Yeah, it is weird. Do you do something to scare her off? No. I mean, I don't think so. You seem kind of frantic, Cabby. It's weird, isn't it? Someone summons you three days in a row and then nothing for two weeks? What did I do wrong? You're the sentimental type, aren't you? I'm not sentimental. I'm a demon. Want me to hook you up with a new summoner? I... I don't know. See? Set a bell. You don't want to give up the one you had. That's not it. Ugh. Ask me again tomorrow. I'm clocking out. They have to clock out? What do they have, like, timesheets? God. Stupid hell bureaucracy. <laughs> I'm not sentimental. She really wanted to keep summoning me. So that's what she was saying, so it's weird that she isn't. There's nothing more to it. It's just something weird that's happening, and I want to know why. That's all it is. Why does everyone really think it's because I got attached to her or something? It's so... It's all so stupid. Meanwhile... I can't believe they found me out. I can't go back there now. Well, but my ritual gear, there's nowhere else I could have left it. Boop, boop. Ah, well, wow, well, well. <laughs> I want to see Camilla again. You should play this game, Contract Demon. Oh, is this love? Love between an angel and a demon? Wait, are you an angel or a witch? Someone just... Just tell me what's going on. Even if it's what I hoped for, I didn't seriously expect it. But how can I summon her again? I'd have to get a new flute. You don't really. You don't need to get a new flute. Don't get a new flute. And the rug, too. That took a lot of effort to make right. Oh, wow, 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 wow. This is <laughs> Luigi. Ah, wow, 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 wow. That's the best I can do. I'm sorry. Unless. Unless. <laughs> That's crazy enough to work, and if it does work, we must be soulmates. Oh no, I really like the sound of that. Why? I never thought I would have a real crush. Why? Wait for me, Camilla. We'll reunite for sure. Alright, uh, will they reunite for sure? Let's, I mean, two more weeks have passed, and I just saved there. I feel like I've been doing this long enough. You know the drill. I get bored, and then I leave for years. <laughs> I mean, go to prison. <coughs> So, if you want to see more of this kind of garbage, uh, leave the thing and do the other thing. You know, all the buttons you press and the whatever you write. I forget how it works. Um, this is Scott. This has been a stupid rent pie game. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? Watch this. It's the thing that we all are going through. I'm going to stop the recording. Hey, you can see this is the program I use. It's called Screen Flick. All right. Stop. Goodbye. Bye. Stop.